Well, good morning, everybody. Hopefully you can hear me. It's a little windy. Today's day 12. I just got dropped off by John at the I-10 uh, section, or the I-10 overpass um, a few minutes ago. Hit the trail at 628 in the AM. Uh, did 28 and a half miles yesterday. And uh, stayed at John's house again last night, because why not? Uh, we went out for Mexican food when I got off the trail. Had a couple of margaritas. Um, I slept like a baby last night. Uh, what was weird is that I ended up banging my knee yesterday on a rock. Pretty bad. It was fine, though. I, I hiked another 15 miles. I totally forgot about it until I... Uh, John picked me up, I got out of the car at the Mexican restaurant and everything just stiffened up and I was like, whoa, I could barely walk on it. So I took a few uh, Tylenol last night, which I really hate to do, but woke up, the knee's fine. Hurts a little bit, very, very slightly, but uh, it's super windy right now going through this uh, section I'm near the Mesa wind farm, you see it behind me. But uh, yeah, that was the most miles that I had hiked in a day. And I slept about nine hours, which is very unusual for me. I guess my body needed it. So, um, yeah, that's it for now. I'll see how many miles I'm going to do today. Uh, I'd like to do at least 20, but we'll see if the conditions permit it. I saw three hikers yesterday until I got to the I-10 overpass um, and I asked all three of them about Fuller Ridge and all three of them did it and they regretted doing it and they said I was better off skipping it so I probably could have done it but you know I didn't want to take the chance and they were like yeah if we, if we would have knew, known we would have skipped it as well so um, I'm glad that I did. You know, um, you gotta gotta know your ability level. Um, you know, I'm a pretty good hiker, and I've got basic skills. As far as mountaineering, I don't have any skills, so I'm not gonna lie. So, I'm glad I skipped it. You wake up to the sound of someone else's tune. You had a dream last night from what you remember. It all blends together. Got a nice little climb up that. Moving it's a very along. quiet morning so far. I haven't seen anyone else. I'm about six miles in. I think I will uh, probably take a break around 10 miles. Doesn't look like the terrain is too difficult coming up. But these desert winds are interesting because it's warm out, but when the winds blow, they're really cold. So it's like this huge temperature difference. It's not like they're blowing the same warm air that I'm walking through. It's very weird because I have my, sh I want to take my shirt off. I keep my sleeveless on, but then the winds blow and it's cold. So it's kind of a, it's interesting. No one is gonna save you, let's take it all. I'm going to assume that's Whitewater River. Walking the avenue as the musician sings. Somewhere else to be as you fight the whim. You take it all away. Nine miles in, I decided to take a little break just for 10 minutes right near the Whitewater River. Um, I'm not going to eat lunch yet. I'll probably wait uh, a few miles to have some lunch. This must be where, one of the places where the trail got washed away. Down the blaze. Woo! That was weird. Well, not weird, but how to navigate through that to find the trail.
Well, I just took a nice uh, long lunch break, about 12 miles in for the day. Took my time, sat for about 45 minutes or so, ran to my first uh, hikers for the day. Uh, three folks that I met at the uh, I-10 underpass last night. So um, it's getting a bit hot out, but I don't mind. I like the heat. Probably do another eight miles for the day. Make it a 20 mile day. Um, I got lost a little bit around Whitewater River. The trail was washed away. So I wasted about a half hour there trying to find the trail. <laughs> So I'm sitting here chilling beside Mission Creek. I just dumped my whole body in the creek. I laid down, it felt really, really good. It's hot out and it's been exposed all day. There hasn't been um, much shade. And I've gone 16 and a half miles. I think I'm gonna do another three and a half, make it a 20 mile day. But this is where the trail is washed away. So from the storms they had. So a lot of people skip this section, but Apparently, you just got to follow the creek that way, and there's really no trail, so it's kind of like a, a wing it situation. But if you follow the creek, eventually it hooks up with the trail. That's what I've read. So um, I'm taking it easy, man. I had a big day yesterday, and um, I just feel like chilling for a bit. So this is Mission Creek. This is the trail, the part of the trail that a lot of people are worried about because the trail itself got washed away with the storms that they had. But if you look at the comments from far out, um, just follow the creek bed north. That's it, it's very easy. If you look at your app, um, you're pretty much following the red line. Um, so you can't get lost. And the good thing about it is, you don't have to carry water because you're following the creek for about 10 miles. Um, there's a bunch of rocks, but it's kind of fun. It's taken the... Uh, the boredom out of the day because I got a little bored today. Up the creek. Well, I'm kind of beat. Hiked 20 miles. Um, I've been following this creek bed for the last four miles and uh, it's pretty tough because it's, it's all rocks and my feet are beat up and I'm trying to find a place to pitch. Couldn't find anything because the trail's washed away. So I found this like sandy patch right above the creek. Just enough room to pitch my tent. Uh, should be fine here. There's really nowhere else to go. So, um, my first night solo camping. <laughs> uh, end of day 12, um, 20 miles. I'm tired. Um, it's a little early. It's only 4.30. I usually try to go to 6, but I don't feel like hiking anymore. I don't know where I can find a place to camp. So, um, see you tomorrow. That's what I call living on the edge. So I'm about 36 miles from Big Bear. And so if I do 20 tomorrow, I'll have about 16, um, which will get me there probably early afternoon. And then I'll get some resupply, maybe stay at the hostel, hopefully. Um, if I can do 26 miles tomorrow, there's a really cool campsite with a fire pit, picnic tables, water faucet. Um, it might be pushing it because I don't know what it's going to be like uh, going up this creek. It's slowing me down a bit. And then I will get to Big Bear late morning. So I'm going to try to push for that, but you know, I'll see what the conditions bring. I'm going to be climbing a lot. I'm going up in the next 20 miles. I'm going up about 5,000 feet. So we'll see. But um, once again, that's a wrap for day 12. I'm in my tent. My first night solo camping. Pretty stoked. It's very peaceful here. So um, that's about it. I'm going to try to get to sleep soon. The sun will be down in about a half hour. Peace. I overslept. Six o'clock. The view I had last night. Uh, good morning. Day 13.
So I got a little started a little later than I wanted to. Um, I like waking up at like five o'clock, pack it up, and then getting going by like 5.30, quarter to six. But I woke up at six, um, so I guess I needed to sleep. And uh, I'm still making my way up this river. I think I have another like six and a half, seven miles of this crap. This is Mission Creek, and uh, this has been a washout. And basically, you gotta make your way up this river with no trail, walking over these rocks, which, as you can imagine, uh, is not easy on the feet. My feet have been wet because I keep crossing the river. I uh, went to sleep, my socks were wet. Woke up, my socks were wet. Now I'm walking with wet socks. Gonna try and do 20 miles. Let's kick it. Well, I'm only three and a half miles in, but I just took a break. I had to eat some more food. I had like a nut bar when I left this morning. Um, I was kind of hungry and uh, my feet hurt. They're cold and they're wet. So I think I have another three miles or so of this crap. Hopefully that's it before I get to the trail. I hope. So um, that's it for now. Around mile 234.4 ish. I looked to the right, I saw a cliff small cliff about eight feet and I had a hunch so I followed my hunch and I climbed up the cliff and I found the trail <sighs> quicker than I thought I would I'm hoping it stays this way I'm definitely on the trail out of the rocks and the water that was murder um, so hopefully uh, I'm done with that So I didn't shoot any footage uh, the second half of the day. Um, I had found the trail, if you remember, uh, to the right of Mission Creek that I was had been walking up for the past, since last night, since yesterday. Um, the reason why, again, we're walking up the creek is because the trail has been washed away uh, from the big storms they had. So just following the creek bed, is what I've been doing. And today got a little more difficult because there was a lot more rocks and then we started climbing in elevation. So when I found the trail, um, for after about a mile and a half, it led me back to the creek. So that part of the trail was washed away again. So I was trying to find the continuation of the trail and I couldn't. So I just kept walking up the creek again. And after a couple of miles, I noticed the creek started getting narrower and it started getting steeper. Then there were these big boulders that I had to climb over and then it got steeper. And I looked on the um, elevation map on the uh, far out app that we use to navigate the trail. And it didn't look like something didn't look right. I'm like, there's no way I can climb this. It looked like it was I was going straight up into the mountain. So um, I was trying to find the trail and I'm looking on the app and I was far off of it. So I looked to my left and there's a mountain next to me and a mountain to the right, but the trail was somewhere to the left. So I said, screw it. And I just started climbing up this hill, straight up mountain climbing. <laughs> I didn't even use my trekking poles because it was that steep. I'm talking like grabbing onto roots and rocks and I almost fell down the mountain a few times. Um, I was kind of shitting in my pants. And I get all the way to the top. I couldn't see the trail. There was nowhere else I can go. It was just too many trees. So I scrambled back down the mountain, almost fell again. And then I got back to the creek and I started working my way backwards, uh, back up the, or back down the creek from where I came to see if I could find the trail. And I ran to this dude, Josh, who I've been seeing since I started on and off. And, uh, he, pointed out that there's a, an alternate that goes up this ridge that takes you around the creek to get back to the PCT. So we climbed uh, 
over two miles and 2,000 feet in elevation, straight up this ridge. It really wasn't a trail. Um, it wasn't really dangerous, but it was super steep. And I could not catch my breath because we got above 8,000 feet. So I was in trouble catching my breath. And I had to stop like every two minutes, take a break. And we finally made it all the way up to the top and got back on the PCT. And so I've been walking a few miles since. And then I started going up again on the PCT. So I had enough. I just found this tent site. Um, I found this clearing off the trail. There's a, an actual tent site about three tenths of a mile ahead, but I think other people are going there. I don't want to get there and then it's full. Then I have no other tent site for the next five miles. So I found this spot off the trail. I pitched my tent. It's only five o'clock. I'm exhausted. That's why I didn't shoot any video the rest of the day. I apologize. I just couldn't pull out my camera because I was in a couple of dangerous situations and I didn't feel like it. I wasn't in the mood for it. And tomorrow's a new day. So I'm going to just veg here and then eventually fall asleep. Day 13 comes to an end. Forgot one more thing. I, when I was trying to find my way back to the trail, um, I got some cactus thorns uh, in my leg, just below my calf, and I ripped them out, but I think one of them got stuck in there. Either that or I ripped the muscle because my, my left uh, leg just below my calf is killing me. So I had to go through this whole ordeal climbing up this ridge with my left leg in pain, by the way. Forgot to add that to the story. So I don't know if there's a cactus needle stuck in my leg or it's just or it's just a muscle pull or a tear, but it really hurts. Morning, day 14. It was a cold one last night. Had a nice little campsite. It was a nice view. I had trouble sleeping, but I had this uh this like pain, slight pain in my left hip. And I only feel it when I lay down. And whether I lay on my left or my right side, I still feel it. And I'm a side sleeper. I can't fall asleep on my back. So it has to be on my side. So it kind of kept me up tossing and turning all last night. So I didn't get a good night's sleep. It's still cold out. Um, I was I was at about 8,500 feet last night. So now I'm about, I'm dropping down a bit. Well, yeah, yesterday was a rough day. I'm trying to shake it off, but uh, I'm still not feeling right. Um, I'll be fine. 250 miles. Woo! So I realized that I really hate snow. But I hate cold weather. And after living in Florida for years, I just like the lifestyle. Um, lived in Key West for six years or so. I'm putting on my shades right now because I'm right in the sun. Hold on a second. So snow has been my kryptonite as the elevation as well because um, I live at sea level so I have a hard time breathing when I'm above like, you know, 7,500, 8,000 feet when I'm hiking. There's a blowdown. So my plan was to get in the Big Bear, just kind of take a few hours, resupply, have some food and leave. I'm just gonna stay, um, cause I had a rough day yesterday. I was pushing a lot of miles, so I haven't really recovered from it. So let's take a light day today. And you know, as I said, if I keep up at the pace I'm going, I'm gonna be in the Sierra like by mid-May, which is gonna be too early. And we already know I don't like snow and the elevation is an issue. When I can, I'll take my time in a trail town. Can't wait to have some real food, a hot cup of coffee, and um, I'll catch up on some editing later. Well, I made it into Big Bear. Um, it was a short day. I did about uh, 11 and a half miles on trail and then another two and a half to get off trail to catch the bus into Big Bear Lake. Just had some lunch, um, having a cappuccino. I got a hotel room for the night. Uh, probably leave late morning. Um, and then 
head straight to Wrightwood, which is about 100 miles from here. So I want to pick up some resupply. Yeah, so I didn't video much um, today because my hands were so cold, I couldn't hold on to the phone and operate the camera. And my gloves were in the bottom of my pack. I didn't, I didn't feel like getting them out. So, um, yeah, that's why there's not a lot of footage today. But it was a short day. I got this nice room with the Sierra Blue Hotel here in Big Bear Lake. This is what you call a gear explosion. Ready to go back in the pack tomorrow. Uh, this place is great. It's got a hot tub, a swimming pool. I soaked in the hot tub, but I'm going to do it again tomorrow morning. And I'm tired. I'm going to sleep. End of day 14. See you back on the trail. Peace. I just wanted to say one more thing before I go to sleep here in my hotel room in Big Bear Lake. Uh, I apologize for not uh, shooting a lot of footage the last three days. Um, you know, I had a bad day the other day and this morning was really cold. And sometimes I just don't feel like picking up the camera. You know, I get in these moods where I just want to hike and just not vlog every second of my hike. Uh, but I will be more proactive in the days and weeks to come. And I will promise to shoot more footage and make these videos um, better than they've been the last few days. There you have it. Good night.